So this is the second video on standard form. If you haven't seen the first one or you feel like you're not confident in standard form, please watch uh, the other video. Um, if you feel like you've had enough practice, then it's good to move on to these type of questions. So um, it's good to also know um, how to order and how to compare no numbers that are in standard form because they're not the usual and they're not in the usual form. Um, so a couple of questions on comparing um, numbers written in standard form. Now, questions in typical exam questions don't really have um, a straightforward question about ordering them from smallest to largest. There are only a few of those. Um, so they do come in terms of application questions. So you have to um, understand the context of the question and what it asks you and the fact that they do actually want you to uh, compare the smallest and the largest numbers. Um, now, two things to note when you're comparing numbers, um, either smallest or largest or largest to smallest, is um, do they have the same... Um, power of 10. Um, if they do, then it's easy to compare and you compare just like you do with normal numbers. If they don't, um, then you'll have to make them match. Um, so um, if yes, then compare normally. If it's a no, then change them to be the same. So um, let's try the first one. So this is quite straightforward. They're all to the power of eight. Now the reason I say, well, if it's the same, um, then you just compare them normally is because if you actually change this to a normal number, which is a, an option you could do, but with numbers, what if it was to the power of 10? It's just a big number. Um, you can change this to a normal number, but they all have, they will all have the same, um, basically the same number of digits right at the end. So you'll end up, let's try number two because it's much easier with the power of two. Um, with number two, if I change them to normal numbers, it's going to be 129, 120, 167, and two. 134. And you can still compare these numbers um, and go, well, the smallest is this one, then this goes second, this goes third, and this goes fourth. Um, well, you can also do it using standard form because um, you don't need to change the powers. They still have the same number of digits right at the end. Um, and so you can easily see that the smallest number is actually this. So you can look at the 1.2 and compare it to the 1.29 and 1.67 and 2.34. So this is the smallest one. And then you have this as the second, this as the third, this as the fourth. And I'm only looking at the A part of the number. So you can easily do this. Um, you can attempt part one and three on your own. I'm going to go to part four which, as you notice, has different powers. Now, I can change them to be the same, but I can also use a trick. Um, and again, this stems from the fact that I understand the basics of standard form. So you, you've converted between different standard forms, you've changed them to normal numbers, you've written them in standard form, so you understand um, how they should look like. So I can easily see 1.21 times 10 to the power of 5, will be much smaller than a number being multiplied by 10 to the power of 7. And these two have the same powers, um, which means they will be much smaller than, than, than the 10 to the power of 7 numbers. Um, if you're not sure, you can always change them back um, to ordinary numbers and you multiply this out and compare them all together. Um, once you're convinced, come back to the method that I'm doing. Um, if you're convinced already, then continue with me. Um, I can compare the ones with a smaller power first and say, well, I have 1.21 and then 1.25. Uh, this is obviously smaller. Again, we go back to the first case. So this is one, this is two. And then I have the 10 to the power of seven. So I could compare them. This is the third one. 
I can compare them normally just looking at the A part. Um, and this is the third, this is the fourth. Uh, by the way, when I say the A part, I mean the A part in um, the standard form, so this A um, section. Um, have a go at the rest, and I'm going to switch to the next slide, which has all the solutions. Okay, so they're all written in order from smallest to largest. It should be correct. If there's any mistake, do let me know in the comments. Um, slightly more challenging one, we can go through um, one of them. Um, as you can see, you'll get a range of numbers that are not written in um, easy standard form to write. Some are not in standard form, some are. Um, I'm going to attempt question three because it seems the more most varied. Um, so the best technique right now is to change them all to ordinary numbers. Um, so in this case you can change to ordinary or change to the same power. And we'll see when it's useful to change to the same power. Um, I'm gonna change them to ordinary numbers. It's much easier to deal with right now because they're very different. Um, 2.3 3 times 10 to the power of 7 will be 23 million. Um, this will be, let's do the last one, 123. 3.8. We're moving it nice paces to the um, right one. So we have 0. Um, I didn't really have to do this because this is obviously the smallest number. Um, you could easily see as well without even going through this. Um, something to the power of a big negative number is a very small number. So obviously this will be the smallest one as evident from here. In a small error, there's no decimal. Um, and then something in the thousand and then you have something in obviously a million. Um, then you have something in the hundreds. So the hundreds will be the second one. And then you can compare these if you're more comfortable. So this is the third and this is the fourth. Um, so we can go through this here. You can see these you might want, this you might want to change to an ordinary number to be able to compare to this number. Um, these you can compare, um, so you can take it in pairs as well. Um, have a go at these questions. You can change it to ordinary number, same power, or just by noticing um, these patterns. Um, solutions will be on the next slide. Okay, so these are the solutions. Again, if there are any errors, do let me know. 